Have you ever felt super motivated to start something new? Maybe you were ready to hit the gym, write that book, or tackle a big project, but then just as quickly as that spark came, it fizzled out. Sound familiar? So, what happened? Where did that initial drive go? Here's the thing. We've been taught to believe that motivation is the key to achieving our dreams. But what if I told you that relying solely on motivation could actually be setting you up for failure? Today, we're diving into the myths and truths about motivation and discipline. And by the end of this video, you'll see these two concepts in a whole new light. If you're curious about finding a better way to stay motivated, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Let's spread this message so that more people can understand how to harness both motivation and discipline to make real progress. All right, let's get into it. First, let's clarify something important. Motivation and discipline aren't opposites. They're more like partners working together. Think of motivation as fuel, a powerful fuel, no doubt, but one that needs to be refilled often. It's not a limitless source of energy. Discipline, on the other hand, is the engine that keeps everything running, even when motivation runs low. Imagine someone starting a fitness routine. They feel super motivated at first, full of energy and excitement. But a few weeks in, they start losing steam. Why? Because motivation, by itself, can't sustain them. Without a system, without discipline, they're left waiting for that next burst of motivation. And in the meantime, their progress stalls. This brings us to a big myth, the idea of motivation peaks. So many people think they need to feel that perfect moment of motivation to take action. But relying on those bursts of inspiration can sabotage long-term success. Chasing these peaks might actually be holding you back more than helping you. Let's take a look at someone who's successful not because of fleeting motivation, but because of consistent routines. For example, think about athletes or artists who show up daily, regardless of how motivated they feel. They're driven by a bigger system, a commitment to something beyond just motivation. What if I told you that constantly chasing peaks of motivation is one of the biggest traps out there? It creates this cycle where you wait for the next high, wasting valuable time. The real trick isn't about waiting for those moments. It's about creating a structure that keeps you moving forward, even on days when you don't feel like it. Now let's dig into the science behind motivation and reward. Motivation doesn't just appear out of nowhere. It's deeply connected to our brain's dopamine system, which is all about rewards. Our brains don't just reward us for completing something. They're wired to enjoy the anticipation of a reward. Ever noticed how much more exciting something feels right before you get it? That's dopamine at work, and it's a huge insight into how we can actually build consistent motivation. In an experiment by neuroscientist Wolfram Schultz, researchers found that our brain's reward system lights up in anticipation, not necessarily at the reward itself. What does this mean for you? It means that if you can create small, consistent rewards, you can keep that dopamine flowing, making it easier to stay motivated over time. Think about a student who rewards themselves with a quick break or snack after studying for 30 minutes. These little incentives can keep you going, creating a feedback loop that strengthens motivation. This is where understanding intrinsic and extrinsic motivation becomes key. Intrinsic motivation comes from within. It's about doing something because you enjoy it or find it meaningful. Extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, is driven by external rewards like recognition, money, or approval. Both are important, but here's the catch. If you lean too much on external rewards, you might find it hard to sustain motivation when those rewards aren't immediately available. A balanced approach is crucial for high performance. Imagine an athlete who's driven by competition, an external factor, but also deeply motivated by personal growth and mastery, which is intrinsic. This combination pushes them to keep training, even when there are no trophies in sight. So ask yourself, what really drives you? Are you tapping into that inner drive? Or are you just going through the motions, hoping for external rewards? Now let's talk about something I call micro-motivation, small, achievable actions that create a steady flow of motivation. It's not about taking huge leaps. It's about building momentum with manageable steps. Think about it. Instead of saying you'll run a marathon right out of the gate, start by committing to a short run each day. These micro goals may seem small, 
but they stack up and create a routine, making discipline easier to maintain. A great example of this is someone training for a marathon who begins by running just one mile each day. As they get used to that habit, they gradually build up to longer distances. By focusing on what's achievable today, they avoid burnout and actually look forward to the process. Micromotivation builds discipline naturally without relying on sudden bursts of inspiration. So, how can you create a sustainable motivation system for yourself? It's all about setting small, realistic goals that align with your personal values, establishing routines around them, and rewarding yourself in ways that feel meaningful. Break down your goals into steps that fit into your daily life, and make sure to celebrate each small victory. Imagine mastering a new skill like learning a language by committing to just 10 minutes a day and celebrating every milestone. Over time, these small actions build a powerful foundation for lasting motivation. Let's recap the key takeaways. Motivation isn't about bursts of energy. It's about consistent, meaningful actions that align with your values. Discipline isn't the enemy of motivation. It's the support system that keeps everything running. Real, sustainable motivation comes from creating a system where discipline and small rewards work together to fuel progress. So, what truly motivates you? Take a moment to reflect. Are you waiting for those big bursts? Or are you ready to build something steady and meaningful? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know how you plan to apply this in your own life. And remember, motivation alone isn't the answer. But with the right mix of discipline and small, intentional steps, you can create a motivation system that lasts. So, what steps will you take today to start building a system that truly works for you?